Hello, I am Professor Stephen Abbott. In this series of five short videos on diffusion, I want to take you through basic diffusion science so you can learn how to apply it to your own area of packaging, skin permeation, flavor scalping, all sorts of things. Diffusion has the unfair reputation of being difficult to understand, but actually it's very simple. It depends on FIX two laws. The first law says that if you have a concentration C1 on one side of a barrier and a concentration C2 on the other side of the barrier, then there's a difference in concentration of delta C. The barrier is thickness X and the flux, the amount of stuff which will go across that barrier, depends on delta C over X, which is intuitive, multiplied by a constant, the diffusion coefficient, D. So if you have a large concentration difference and a small distance, then you get a large flux for a given D. And if there's a small concentration difference or a large distance, you get a small amount of stuff diffusing through. But we're not often interested in the amount of stuff. We're often interested in the concentration of stuff. And the change of concentration with time comes from Fick's second law of diffusion, which says delta C with time, change of concentration with time, depends on the change of the flux over distance. And in calculus notation, it's d, d2c by dx squared. Now, because both of these involve differential calculus, they're a bit scary, but they're also slightly complicated. The reason is, of course, that the concentrations that you're using in these calculations are changing themselves with time. So you have to solve these things numerically. Now, in the simple case, where you have a constant difference in concentration, and the diffusion coefficient itself is a constant, the math is very simple. But in many cases, neither of those obtains, and so you have more complicated things which need a full numerical solver. But staying with just the simple stuff, we know that if we have a concentration C on one side and a concentration zero at the other, and if the barrier has a thickness L, and if the diffusion coefficient D is known, then the amount of stuff coming through per time, per unit area, is dc over l. The real problem isn't the formula, but getting the inputs and outputs right. And in the final video, we'll show why that is so complicated. The other thing you can get from a simple formula is the half time for the flux to reach the equilibrium amount. So when you start off, of course, there's no flux. As it starts to diffuse through, the flux builds up, and then it reaches constant amount. The half time just depends on 0.05 L squared over D. So if I double the thickness from 50 microns to 100 microns, we'll see that the flux should halve. And indeed, if I go up to 100, the flux does uh, halve. If the diffusion coefficient goes up, then the flux goes up. And if it goes down, for example, by an order of magnitude, then the flux goes down and the half time changes accordingly. That's the basics. In the next video, we'll see Ficken diffusion as a proper modeler over time.